G'day viewers, this is Annie and welcome to my Gold Nugget Detecting Channel. This video is how to use GeoRes Globe to find gold in Queensland. In particular, it will be a basic introduction to GeoRes Globe plus how to find a place or a location, gold locations and mines, how to find a mining lease or a mining claim and how to find an exploration lease. GeoRes Globe contains a lot of data and they recommend that you use Google Chrome. If you haven't got Google Chrome, download it from the internet and do a search for GeoRes Globe. Once you have logged on to the Business Queensland website, click on the Connect to GeoRes Globe. There are a number of self-help videos available on the site and this screenshot shows the various topics and search items available. First off, a blank screen will come up, but then the map of Queensland will load. One tip is not to add too many layers at once as this clutters the screen. Another tip is if you want to save or share any data, you must sign in at the commencement of your session. Once the main map loads, it will come up with a base map automatic in the layers. I then go to layers and under base maps, I add roads, railway and Queensland place names to help me identify where I am in a particular location. Then I go to the search option on the left hand side of the screen and a menu will come up and in that menu I find place names. For this video I'm going to use Georgetown in northern Queensland. Then I go to add layers and in amongst that you will get a list of options and I select resources. If you tap on the little V beside resources, it will expand the menu. I remove the tick for coal and petroleum just to declutter the screen. In that same view, there are mines and mineral occurrences by commodity. Tap on the V to expand that further. You can refine your search by removing the ticks if you just wanted to look at, say, historical workings. Tap on the arrow at the right of the list and that will move it left. The main screen then will show you all the mineral commodities, including lead and silver. You can scroll or zoom into an area and then find out the details. To do this, go to the tools screen at the top right hand corner. I drew a small rectangle over the area and the details came to the bottom of the screen to show they were historical workings and you can scroll across this to find further details. Next example is how to find a mining lease or a mining claim. So in the layer screen you find production permits then tap on the little V to expand the menu. Then the drop down menu will show mining claims and mining leases. Just select the options that you want. For this video I've selected all of the options. The search then reveals all the mining leases or mining claims around Western Creek which is south of Georgetown. Use the tools section to identify the details of the leases or claims. This next section is on how to find an exploration lease. You do this by again going back into the layers and finding exploration permits. To find out particulars of an exploration permit, go to the tools again and then tap on anywhere on the actual permit. There are options to edit the layers and remove layers. You can remove all or just tap on the one that you want to remove and then tap done. 
and if you have signed in you can then save the material that you've searched on site. That's it for now and I hope this video will help you find more gold.